back to what I was saying, uh, what, show it, like, I don't know what's going on with Social Justice Warriors and trying to get into areas where they're not needed. They are fucking not needed in the gaming community to give justice to fictional characters. They're fictional characters, people. Fictional freaking characters that if they so choose to wear a leotard let them wear a leotard like this, this uh, social justice warrior that's very vocal minority is starting to annoy the living shit out of everyone and, and I'm not just talking myself i'm not just talking about the persona of community i'm not just talking about the mortal combat community because mortal combat apparently got censored i didn't even know that but they got censored uh, like what happened like my personal like my my question is what happened I, I don't understand what happened. And this had, and like, I'm pretty sure this started back whenever I was in high school around sophomore, junior year. And I want to say that was about, no, yeah, about 2014 to twenty. Like 2013 to 2014, because I graduated in 2015, class 2015. <laughs> Anyways, like, I'm. I, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know because it, it confuses me. Why people are trying to do something like this. It, it it really confuses me. Like really, really, really confuses me. Because I, I don't see the point. Because if you, like, you are telling people to censor. A character that they've created. It, like that that doesn't make any sense. They're fictional characters. They're like maybe in some alternate like we're getting into multiverse theory here. Maybe there's some alternate reality or alternate earth. Like in the DC comics. <laughs> Wow, that was no. I'm like bleeding memes over into this, but like in DC, like if this is Earth One, then maybe there's an Earth Fifty Two or something that's actually the Persona universe, but that's not our universe. Like that's not us. We don't have these crazy freaking mental abilities that these kids have. And if they're... Right, and if they want to have a latex, a red latex outfit that shows off their boobs or wearing a leotard that represents the sport that they're in, let them... Just stop with the fixing of the characters. It just stop trying to censor games. That this has gone on for far too long, and needs to stop. If I had awesome editing powers, I would edit in right here, Filthy Frank. Some of you don't even know who that is. Like. Edit in, Filthy Frank going in. It's time to stop. Holding up that big old clock. It, it literally is time to stop. It, 
I... It's 2019. We are allowed to have hash... We, well, yeah, I, I guess I already said it now. We are allowed to have hashtag opinions. We, we are literally allowed to have opinions in 2019. We should always be allowed to have opinions, especially on the internet. The internet's just a vast place that's always growing. And yet, just one piece of uh, opinion... Burn him at the stake! <laughs> Burn him at the stake! But, it's like, I I don't understand it. I don't plan to understand it. I, like, I, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know what to do. Alone, there's nothing that I can do. That literally, there, there's nothing I can do alone. I highly doubt there's anything we can do together. If I mean, if you have ideas, please let me know in the comment section below. Like, I, I want ideas. I want to get this stopped. Stamp it out at the source, at the very, well, not stamp it out, but like, just get it to stop in the gaming community because this is like, the, this is hindering creativity, literally hindering creativity. Because what's gonna happen if they show off a female main character, a female protagonist, exclusive only to Persona 5 The Royal? It w Sorry, I had to make sure my soda was... Anyways, what, what, like, what, what if they show off a protagonist, a female protagonist for exclusive only to Persona 5, The Royal? These are dark days, my friends. These are dark days indeed. Not quite Middle Ages yet, but these, like, at the rate we're going, I... I can see it. And it makes me sad. Because we've already got a say on witch trials on guys, basically, right now. I, that, that, I mean, that, that's really the truth. I've experienced it. I've lived through the witch trial. It's not fun. I'm gonna tell you that right now. It's not fun, but that that's all. That's something else entirely. Going back to Persona Five: The Royal. Personally, I'm excited for this game. And if they do decide, if Atlas of America does decide to bend, as people are calling it, bending the knee. Wait, what, what, what does that mean? Bending the knee. Just, oh, God, that, my, wow, okay, I need to stop squinting. That makes me look very, I squinted a lot in this video, but whatever. <sighs> I, I, I don't understand that terminology, bending the knee, because it, There, you can see my eyes better. Next time, I'll just leave. I'll just leave my glasses off for the rest of the video. Oh God, I look terrible. But I, I just do that because I don't wear my glasses. Anyways, like I'm excited for Persona Five: The Royal. I'm excited for Kasumi to be a part of our team. I'm excited to learn what she's about, who she is. What her story is in the Persona 5 universe. I'm excited for her care. Like, like. I'm just excited for Persona 5 the Royal. Ow. Why did I do that? 
I'm weird. This is true. Like, I'm up too early. I haven't even gone to sleep yet. But I'm, like, this shit is infuriating. Because, like, not only do the social justice warriors not get the fact that she's a gymnast. Like, I, I cannot stress that enough. She is a gymnast. So wearing leotards is very natural for her. In fact, I would wager that we'll probably see, like, I'll wager that we'll probably see a gym, like, a gymnast meet, or, like, I, I don't know what they call it. We'll, we'll see a gymnast meet for, um, for Kasumi to show her off. See how good she is, right? right? That, that can be well within the expectation because she's a gymnast. And what then? She's going to be wearing a leotard then. And I highly doubt people are going to be like, oh, she's showing too much thigh. Like, it... The stupidity of these people. I don't know. That, 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 that's basically them. I don't know. Like, you can only tell these people so many times before they... Just say, fuck you. This is how I want the character. And I'm not going to stop until that character is changed to how I want it. Personally, I don't want that to happen. Especially for Persona 5. Because the main theme of Persona 5 is rebellion against society. Like that that's literally the one of the main draws and themes of Persona 5. Rebelling against society for a better tomorrow. And like I don't know because as I said, I'm excited for all the Persona 5 stuff that we're getting excuse me, that we're getting within the next, within this and next year. Like, if the outfit does change for Kasumi, will I be sad? Yes. Will I be mad? Not an atlas. Not not an atlas at all. Like. I'll be mad. At the people. At these social justice warriors. Fixing. Kasumi. As if. She was broken. Or. Not right. To begin with. Like. This is how they presented her. I guess one of the, like, the two main points that I want to drive into your skulls and kind of drive home, drive, no, whatever, like, knock it into your skulls, not drive it on home. The first and foremost fact She's a gymnast. She wears leotards for a living. Well, not for a living since she's still in high school, but she does it because she wants to. Not because somebody told her to. Technically. I mean, yeah. Anyways. Second point. This is a game from Japan. People, Japan, the Japanese people have very different standards, very different lifestyles than people here in the States. Like, 
You couldn't even comprehend the amount of hours that they work. Compared to a 40 hour work week here, they're probably, like right now, they're probably going to be doing what? Maybe 100 plus? If that, maybe, I, I don't know. They, they work really long hours. They work really long hours and they do not stop, basically. But, again, not the kind of point that I'm trying to drive home. The point that I'm driving home, the main point, she's a gymnast. Get over it. She wears leotards. I've iterated this many times without the two videos that I hope to combine into one here. Second, it's Japan. They're, they're going to have... They're, they're going to have different standards than us. They're going to have different outfit choices than we do. You social... Like, social justice warriors are not making it any easier or better by putting leggings on her. Let her just wear a leotard as she was meant to. I don't know if... Anyone at Atlas will ever watch my, will ever watch these one, two videos if I somehow manage to get them to merge together here. But I just want to let Atlas know that no matter what happens, they got my support and my money. Like they, that, that's the bottom line here. They have my support and they've got my money. And I know it probably doesn't mean a whole lot because they've got customers around the world. But what I'm trying to say here is that no matter if they go through a design change for Kasumi or if they go through a design change for On... I will support them. I will support them and I will buy Persona 5 The Royal because I want to find out what that's about. <laughs> like, I I will, I will, honestly want to find out what that's about and, like, I would love to stream it, but knowing Atlas, they'll probably have it blocked. They'll probably have the entire game blocked so that we can't show the game off online like they did with Persona 5, which, since I've been talking so much about Persona, I'm probably going to play Persona 5 after I'm done with this and uploading the video or videos. <sighs> like... Okay, thank you. Phone... Telling me that it's got 50% battery life left. Yeah. Video recording at 15%. Anyways. Like. <sighs> Let me be frank. Like. I know I'm just a small voice. I, I know I'm a small voice, but after seeing that article, seeing these, well, seeing a article about it, and seeing these thumbnails about it, and seeing a little bit of a video about this particular topic, it, it finally brought me over the edge. And I mean, I just got so mad that I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm like, I usually talk to myself. Why not do it on camera? Don't know if this will ever get any views. But again, 
if anyone in Atlas sees this video, I hope you can play. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Persona 5. That That's what this is all boiling down to. I'm a fan of Persona 5. And I will be getting Persona 5 The Royal no matter what happens. Because I, I love Persona 5 that much. No matter what characters get a design change. No matter how sad I will be that they got a design change if it ever happens. Nor how mad I will be at these social justice warriors that are doing all this complaining and whatnot. I, there's nothing else I can really say. Atlas, you've got my vote of confidence. Good night.